The Kwara State Government has approved a multi billion naira palliative medalist to cushion the effect of petrol subsidy removal with a view to bring in support to both civil servants and non civil servants in the state. The Chief Press Secretary to the State Governor, Rafiu Achakai, disclosed this during a press briefing in Ilorin, the state capital that each public sector worker in the state is expected to receive the sum of 10,000 naira as cashback, while students of tertiary institutions are to enjoy a free transportation service until the new minimum wage is introduced. The essence of the palliatives, uh, according to the Chief Press Secretary, is to show empathy and support the people at this critical time. Right away, His Excellency has approved what I will call a slew of uh, multi-billionaire palliatives to neutralize the effect of recent removal of source of state. These courts across different sectors, uh, MDAs, and of course, different demographies. It is not just limited to public sector workers. Uh, on top of the palliatives, it's a cash support of 10,000 Naira for every public sector worker in the state. And that begins this month, which is July, and it will last until a new minimum wage is introduced. The governor has also approved the extension of free bus rides for students of tertiary institutions in the state, uh, while modalities for occasional distribution of food to poor and most vulnerable households are to be activated in the next few days. The state government also added the food palliatives to the most vulnerable and poor families shall not be partisan as traditional rulers, religious leaders, trade unionists and others will be involved to generate list of beneficiaries and disburse accordingly. Modalities for occasional distribution of food palliatives to poor and most vulnerable families uh, will also be rolled out in the next few days. Uh, the distribution of the food palliatives will be shall be non-partisan and will be coordinated by a government team to be supported by respected stakeholders who would get input from traditional rulers, religious bodies, market leaders, trade unionists, and community-based organizations to generate the list of beneficiaries and disburse accordingly. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.